Hi everybody, Kelly here. Uh, first and foremost, let me apologize for any cars that you hear in the background. I am in my uh, in one of the bedrooms in the back of the of our apartment. Um, there's there's cars that go by, and when you're not too far from the highway, but far enough, but you can still see hear some of the trucks and cars that go by. Uh, the reason is because my little girl, who's 10 months old, is having her nap on her daddy's chest and they're in the living room on the couch right now. So normally I would be in the living room where it gets most of the light in the afternoon after I get home from work, but since she's asleep there, I don't want to disturb her, so here I am in the back of the house. Uh, so that being said, or back of the apartment, excuse me, that being said, um, I do apologize for any of the cars. So this project this little mini album is made using only what i have in my stash i've made a vow to only use what i have currently in my craft space so um, not buying any new embellishments not buying any new ribbon not buying any new paper only using that that which is what i have to use up what i have to stop hoarding all the stuff that we like to hoard so much of paper and flowers and rhinestones and all that stuff. The only thing that I will spend money on will be for glue um, and, and, and ATG tape, things like that. So that being said, this album I made, um, it's a chipboard mini album and I used um, recycled chipboard. So I used uh, cereal boxes or macaroni and cheese boxes or oatmeal boxes, anything that comes in a box. And this is what I used to make this album. This album is a magnet closure and I did use my bind it all. I'm going to curl the ends down so that it's not sticking out. But it's a chipboard album. I did use the magnets that I had. I found it at the hardware store for like a dollar and change. But there's a magnet underneath here to, to keep it closed. This album uses the die cuts with a, a few, um, the La Creme stack and the Bella Boutique stack. Those two stacks are so similar. Um, they carry both the same types of paper, the same patterns that I use both to really create that since I have both of those in my, in my possession. So here we go. Opening it up, it opens up this way. I'm trying to pull back because I'm also using one hand. Um, it's six pages long, two, one, two, three, four, five, five pages long. Um, but on the first page I did a waterfall mat and then I put the journaling spot underneath it, and all the and you can stick a picture underneath here. But the first one says defining moments. I used all the uh, the flowers and the journaling spots from the from the collection and the stickers from the collection. The only thing that's not from the collection would be the flowers. This is a Fisker's punch. I'll get in there a little bit clearer. A Fisker's butterfly punch, and yes, this is the Martha Stewart butterfly punch. Uh, the pearls throughout the album are ivory flat back pearls that I had in my stash and I did use my Copic marker um, I think it was the R59 I think it's the R59 I'll put it, everything in the description or in my blog and I'll put the blog link in the description but those are I call it those with my Copic marker so then that will be page one and then you flip it over to a two page spread uh, again the stickers from the collection Martha Stewart punch uh, rhinestones or flatback pearls and then the butterflies and this is one page and then this, the other one is the same thing just reversed and then the each well, the page has a, a tag in it just a plain tag from the collection that will tuck underneath the photo and you flip it open again and the next page is another two page spread this has four photos fo photo spaces photo mats um, so there's one photo here, one photo here, and then the journaling spot from the collection. This side says celebrate, and then this side says beauty. Again, again, the four pages or four photo mats. The next page is just a photo mat. I really liked this whole vine and I didn't want to disturb the picture or disturb the image on the page paper too much so I added the journal journaling spot from the collection and turned it into just a, a place to place a photo mat behind and then this is the photo mat and again the stickers are from the collection and that goes there and then on this page uh, oh sorry this page 
actually has a, a, a spread, so it's, it's a flip up or flip out sticker from the collection. And then for, for one, two, three, four, five photos. And then behind it, I also left this side open so that you can slide a photo mat underneath it to a life less ordinary. And then the back of it. There we go. And the next page. It's similar to the first one. I think this is actually my favorite. I love the flocking on this paper and this in this design and I added just some flat back pearls to the center of each of the scrolls on the bottom um, and then the flowers and the butterflies uh, this also flips up for a photo mat so three photos one two three and then I left the sides open the outsides open so that I can slide a photo mat tag underneath each one and the sides are just in reverse so the same thing on the other side Photo mats for the opening on the, on the end, and then the photo mat and the journaling spot. And all the everything's from the collection. I didn't try to add too much to it, and then I liked the cream and the black, but I needed a little pop of color, and that's where the red came in. So the last page um, is just a single photo. Nothing gets tucked underneath it, everything is sealed down, um, but it does have the journaling spot. It, 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 is, it mirrors the first page. Um, this one says it's as good as it gets. So if you go back, you have the defining moments, and then this is as good as it gets. And the back, the very back of the album, really is not a page, it's really just the back cover. I actually turned it to another area to add a photo and a spot where you can slip the journaling spot underneath it. So you have a little, a little journaling area under here. There you go. And then the photo and the photo slip can slip underneath the sticker from the collection and your photo can go underneath there. But there you have it. That's the album. And then the back and the spine. But there it is. That's it. It's just real simple. Just a quick album. It's super simple. But I used up my collection, which I'm so proud about. Yay! Uh, the more I use what I have in my stash, the more I can then go shopping for new things. Yay! So hopefully we'll get to use everything in the collection and see how far we get. But Or in my stash and see how far we get. But there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it inspires you a little bit to kind of use what's in your stash and try to create something new. And even use what's around you. you know, we don't always have to go out to the store and buy chipboard. Uh, there's chipboard all around us if we just take a really good look. and It's probably in your kitchen pantry right now. So there you have it, and so uh, I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.